Okay guys, today I'm gonna be going through some racket drop killers and how to fix them. So you guys can have a killer racket drop. So let's get right into this video. My name is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. If you like this video, make sure you like it. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more of our videos. And uh, let's talk about the racket drop, what it is, and why it's important to have a good one and how it's gonna help your serve. So a racket drop is basically when you come into your motion and it starts to become the very important part of your serve is getting here to what I like to call a secret power source and then be able to come back and have a nice relaxed racket drop. You see how the racket is now dropped behind here in this position and I'm gonna come out of there and I'm gonna hit the serve. That's how you can kind of have a professional looking serve. Now what happens to so many players is when it's time to go into the racket drop, they go into the exact opposite position. So they're getting ready to go into what I just showed you, wanting to get a nice racket drop, and instead what happens is they go into a racket flop. They, they put their thumbnail back away from them, and they get into that classic waiter tray or pizza move, okay? So I'm going to show you some exercise you can do to, to avoid doing this. This is one of the biggest serve mistakes out there. The other thing that people do, and this is even more prevalent, is they come out here with their elbow, and their elbow starts to come out this way, and so even if they have a racket drop, it's still not getting the benefit of using your body, and it's just leaving your arm out here to dry, and then you're going there, and you're kind of almost pushing your serve in. So really pay attention and film yourself and see if you come here. A lot of people come in here with their serve, and they have a very weak racket drop, and they go here, they kind of have to push their serve in. And then the final thing that prevents people from having a good racket drop is they don't get into a good tilt, okay? What is a tilt? When you watch the pros, they push that hip out there, and they get their shoulder set up in this position like a seesaw. I call this the tilt, right? Because I've got this tilt going where lots of people have the opposite tilt. They, their toss arm's coming up, I mean, their toss arm's coming down and their elbow's coming up too high, and so their racket drop is really shallow, okay? So, got a really cool tool here from, and you, you probably know this tool too, this helps your toss, this is the Toss Master. If you're interested in it, it, it shows you where to stand and where to toss. I'll put a link down in the description. I'll pu also put a link for this really cool tool, this arrow, okay? This, is gonna, this can really help you kind of be aware of your racket drop. This is from OnCourtOffCourt.com and it will sh and, and you can just do some shadow swings to see where the arrow is going, okay? Because this will help you. You want that, you want this arrow coming in towards your face. You don't want the arrow to go away from you. Lots of people, when they go to serve, it starts to face up to the sky and that's going to keep you from having a good racket drop. But if you can put this arrow in your racket, and you can come back and you can basically see it right there. This is going to help you. And then what you want to do from there is just relax. Okay? That's the key to having a good racket drop. It's not even about flexibility. I mean, obviously, the more flexible you are, the better it's going to be. But I have a decent racket drop and I have awful flexibility. But I am able to feel my hand relax and just let it drop. And I like to call it dangle. See, it's, it's literally like in my fingertips right now to demonstrate. Of course, when I play a match, I don't let it open up this much. However, I get it pretty relaxed to where I could do that if I wanted to. So I'm barely holding on the racket, and I can feel that arrow coming in towards my back and then going up and hitting. Uh, and that's another thing, too. When you do this, you want to make sure when you take a look at your arrow that also it's not out here. See? Remember how I talked about where people had the elbow in the wrong position? And so you don't have that full range of motion in the support of your body. You see the elbow out here. You want to make sure when you do this that you can actually see the arrow almost point into your ear. Okay, that's going to help that elbow the enemy move that Jeff Saldestein talks about. See that right there? I can look at that. I also can take a selfie right there with my tennis racket. Okay, for all you uh, Instagram and TikTokers out there. All right, so... This arrow is really going to help you do that, and then you can come here and actually see. I've never done this with serve with the arrow. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if I can get that going and hit that serve. Not so bad, okay? But this is a great tool to use. If you don't have something like this, again, 
I like to, I'll just give you one more exercise. If you don't happen to go to on court, off court and get one of these arrows, you can also do what I call the follow the thumbnail exercise. So where you're basically doing shadow strokes, not worrying about the court over there, but paying attention to what your thumbnail does. You should be able to see the thumbnail come to you. I can see my thumbnail right now. And as it drops, I can see my thumbnail. As I come by the ear, I still see my thumbnail. And then as I push out, now all of a sudden the thumbnail's away, and then you go through and hit. So that's another exercise you can do to work to get a great racket drop. This is Pete from Crush. I'm coaching. Hopefully you love this video. And if you need more work on your serve, I've got a free serve course for you right now called Serving A to Z. We're not just talking about three free videos. No, we're talking about 33. 33 free videos you can get in Serving A to Z. So make sure you head over there right now by clicking up in the card section. Go down to the description box. Also, if you like that Toss Master, I'm putting that in the description box. And if you want to pick up one of those cool arrows from OnCourtOffCourt.com, you can go there as well. So take care and have a great day on the court.